Good morning. This is Jesse Cannon Wallace, salesperson at Mercedes Benz of Atlanta Northeast. And I am now going to show you all of the things on the new 2022 Mercedes AMG SL that I have not been able to show you up until now. This is the first one that has come to our inventory. It is pre sold, it was a custom order, um, but the customer has agreed to let me have it for a day to make videos so that you can learn more about it. So again, this is a Mercedes AMG SL. There is no non-AMG variant for 2022. All of these um, are built on a new chassis by AMG with hand-built V8 engines. The SL63, which we're looking at right here, is 577 horsepower and 590 pound-feet of torque. That is the one thing we will not be doing today, no driving. So let's start here on the side. The number one question is, how does the top work? So here we go, 22 seconds roughly from top up to top down. We have gone back to the soft top that is a traditional SL top. I love those winglets, so cool. Uh, and it works up to almost 40 miles an hour, which is amazing. So if it starts to rain and you wanna put the top up or down at a light, you're not trapped, it's phenomenal. This particular one has the red pepper leather and isn't it beautiful? All right, a common question. This is two plus two seating. Can a human sit back here? Well, not if you wanna use your legs. You can. If you adjust these seats forward, which I'll do here with the driver's seat for a moment so you can see. So if you had a, I don't know, five foot five driver and a five foot five passenger, I would say they could comfortably sit behind each other. The second seat, pardon me, the front seat does fold like that so you can get in and out pretty easily. But yeah, the two plus two is for convenience. If you have a gym bag, groceries, your purse, an umbrella, a small dog, that is what you're gonna be using that two plus two seating for, okay? All right, let's come around to the back of the car. So of course, what everyone wants to see or hear is the exhaust. So I'm gonna set this down And let's adjust a touch here. And I'm gonna go start the car and I'm gonna demonstrate the emotional start exhaust. And if you watch that wheel on the left-hand side, I'm gonna turn the wheel and show you the 2.5 degree rear axle steering. So stay with me, I'm going to get in the car. Okay, I hope you got all that. It is more impressive in person, but that's the best I can do for you. This particular SL63 has the AMG extended night package, so you can see all the black accents and black badging on this vehicle. It also has the terribly named dark light package. So both the headlights and the taillights have a shadow finish. It's very nice. All right, let's pop the trunk very refined, right? So the trunk is much bigger than you would expect it to be. Pardon me, I'm trying to use my gimbal and I'm terrible at pointing it in the right direction. So here, let me just toss this key in here for a little bit of scale. Um, it is deep and it is further back than you'd expect it to be as well. You can see that's the um, front license plate and the windscreen there in the front of the car. I would say you could fit two small suitcases, a big duffel bag, um, definitely golf clubs, you'd probably have to take out the drivers, but it will fit in this trunk. And because of the soft top, there is no top intrusion into this space. So top up or down, you get the same amount of storage, and that's phenomenal. All right, we can close this here. Just walk around this way so you get all the angles. 
So what do you think of the proportion of this vehicle? What does it remind you of? Obviously the hood is a lot shorter than the GT was, but the interior cabin gives you a lot more space. I think it's just gorgeous. Here, let's drop down. Look at the proportion on that car. Isn't it just beautiful? Um, up until now, I think the last video I showed you was the black car, and it just doesn't show off the lines. This is moonlight white metallic, by the way, and the SL63 comes with the gold, pardon me, not gold, yellow brake calipers. All right, let's get in the inside, and I'll show you a couple things that people have been asking for as well. All right. So... These beautiful turbine vents, reminiscent of lots of Mercedes-Benz vehicles, the Burmester sound system, heated, vented, and air scarf, of course. Down here, we have the AMG drive unit buttons, the very cool new steering wheel setup. I'm gonna go ahead and give the car some power without starting it fully. I don't want you to be distracted by exhaust note or my view of the sky there. All right, so this is the instrument cluster. You can see absolutely gorgeous. Um, a beautiful display and I was worried this little cutout not having a full cover might make it hard to see but it's actually been just fine all right this screen here and I'm gonna detach my camera from the gimbal now so pardon Oop. okay so this screen here tilts because of the angle of the Sun in a convertible we're gonna push this button here we can adjust the display angle to remove any glare that you might see on the car. Okay. And then um, this button here controls the top from the inside. So if I push this, I can then slide this. Oh, the power's not on. Hold on, sorry. I was so focused on my phone, I didn't realize nothing, anything was happening. All right, so there, back to display angle. So you can see that moving now, and you can see how that would take the glare off depending on where the sun was in your drive. And it's actually a really big change if you go for the full change there. All right, sorry about that. So then the top functionality here, I can push this and I can swipe, whoop, swipe, and now the top will come up again, 22 seconds. Or there's a shortcut for that. If I tap the top button and then hold it, that will put the top up and down without removing the screen display. There we go, top up. All right, uh, cameras in this car are just as good as they are in the S, uh, or pardon me, the S Class and the EQS. Just phenomenal looks, uh, and of course it does parking assist. You can do fingerprint storage so that you no one can access your profiles here is a better look at that instrument cluster just phenomenal this does have the head-up display as well you can see that itty bitty thing right there okay uh, performance exhaust this is how we deploy the spoiler if we want that up and i think those are the questions people generally ask me on the inside of the car cup holders wireless charging usb c's um, it does do wireless carplay and android auto all right, let's pop out one more time and take one more look at the exterior of the vehicle. And that will cover, gosh, everything I can push in the SL in under 10 minutes. Here, let's deploy that spoiler for a moment. Where is that spoiler? There it is. I'm gonna change my drive select button to spoiler and then deploy it. There we go. So red pepper leather, deployed spoiler. That is speed sensitive as well. It will move up and down as needed. All right, so that is a quick look at the 2022 Mercedes SL trying to answer your most frequently asked questions while I have one to show you. Yes, you probably need to order. Uh, yes, it's going to take a little while. They're not building a ton of them. I will have this one here for one whole day. So if you come up with any questions in a hurry, let me know and I'll make a quick video for you. I'm posting a ton more content on TikTok and Instagram if you're looking for more. Thanks so much for watching. Again, this is Jesse at Mercedes-Benz of Atlanta Northeast.